Welcome to another episode of the Dial Spot. In this episode, I'm going to be going through the Jason Voorhees Friday the 13th diorama that I built up. I would like to apologize for this first clip. I misplaced the clip and I think it got deleted. All I did was make the bottom base and cut out the hole for where Jason is going to sit. And then I painted it black and then I went over it with a couple greens, a darker green and then a dirty brown look that was a spray paint but i'm gonna be getting to the rest of it so hopefully you guys like the video stick around to the end i also got the subscriber contest coming up so that'll be down in the description so let's get to it all right so so far this is as far as i got i showed you last time i painted it all black so then what i did is i had a green a lighter green that i mixed with a little bit of black to make it a dark a dark darker uh, green because uh, with him is gonna be more I think in the autumn time that this diorama takes place so then I also went through with a stone spray paint so I went and scooped up I grabbed the stone rust-oleum I was also using on another project I was looking for the black one couldn't find the black one but I'm glad I also got this one because <clears throat> I don't know if you can tell let me see if I can bring it up close so it brings in I'd on top I sprayed and it brings in a little little dirt so it's like dirt so when I do lay down the the grass on it it will look like dirt's underneath it on the parts that aren't covered in fully in grass and like I said it's autumn so down that more brown look I already painted the 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 fence so I'm gonna start messing with putting the fence in and I think with back here like I said I'm gonna be putting the real trees up I'm going back and forth with what I want to do if I want to put a foam back or if I want to do a boxed uh, thinner foam a boxed back there that I could put the the wood coming up the and then I want to do like a little effect with maybe a light like the the moon is shining through so on to the next step I'll let you guys see all right so right now what I'm gonna do sorry let me uh, get it situated here so right now so right now what I'm gonna do is like I said I painted the So right now what I'm going to do is put on some Mod Podge and going to be dropping some of my grass. Now this grass is greener than I want. I'm going to use this grass too because I want it to be like a dead grass. So since this grass is greener than I want, I'm going to lay it down but also put down some, uh, do an airbrushing on it to give it a more brown in some areas effect so right now let me get my Mod Podge grab that and I'm gonna start off sorry I got a lot in my area I'm gonna start off in one corner so I'm gonna start off over here and start putting it down just so I can start putting it laying it down good I don't wanna it to start drying up so let me Cut this one too. So on this one, this is what this looks like up close. So that's gonna be more of a dead, dead grass look in some areas, but I'm gonna rip it up. So <clears throat> let's get to it.
All right, so I put the grass on there. I put the other grass on there. That I, I think the I like the look of the other grass. Two on it, not too much of it, but just enough to get it to look like. Let me try. Get it to look like. Uh, there we go. <clears throat> like it's dead grass in there too so I'm gonna hit it with a little bit of brown <clears throat> and then the background for back here if you're wondering the reason I didn't put it on there yet is because I want to go through and put the trees in first uh, put the put the little trees in first and then I'll be dropping some grass down on it so I don't have to poke through it so until the next, uh, on to the next. <laughs> so for the Jason, right now what I did was it was very simple. Forgot to record, sorry about that. So what I did was put wax paper down and then I wrapped him in wax paper. And so what I was trying to do is I wanted to get a layer so when I sit him in his in the the grave site I can have something lay on top of him and cover him up so I came with hot glue and laid poured hot glue all over it I used two sticks so I laid a layer of hot glue then a layer of grass uh, both types of grasses then after I laid the grass I covered it again with another little layer of hot glue and put some more grass on top of it don't know how it's gonna turn out <coughs> sorry don't know if it's gonna be good but uh that's what I did so far um, let you zoom in on it real quick so that's what's gonna be sitting on top of them I want to brown it out a little bit to make it so uh, I guess as I peel it off real quick I'll let you guys see how it turned out so I'm gonna first I'll just pull him out first or actually let me just try not because his feet so try peeling it off try doing this actually take these scissors and cut the bottom away let me pull him out of there real quick and like I said all of it didn't stick on some of it did We'll see how it so that's the layer see the back so hot glue and so what the plan is is he'll be sitting boom nice little layer over him so all that was was hot glue and grass that I broke down onto it and I'll be able to simply lay it over him in the grave so it'll cover up that hole that I have so on to the next alright so far what I have here is I did the background all I did is lay down a dark blue for like the moonlight coming through the trees and it isn't super professional but it's good enough for me for now because there's gonna be the trees that the real trees that are gonna be 
lay it in front of it so it's gonna be in front of it like that so like that how that's how I want it so it's gonna be real trees in there I don't know how really I'm gonna set it up I think I'm gonna glue it to the back and everything so you could take the back off and everything and then the these are gonna be up in front of the trees so then I'm gonna lay some grass more grass down there and then for when I don't have Jason in there I took the piece that I cut out of here and I cut it I specifically cut it not to be a perfect square specifically so I could I knew which way to drop it in every time so I laid down I painted a green and did the spray effect the same spray effect I did with this with the stone the stone sp uh, era spray and now I'm gonna put some more some Mod Podge on it and lay down some grass so when he's with Jason is standing instead of sitting in there you can just lay it like that and the grass will look filled in and you'll be able to stand Jason up wherever you want so it could be a two-way two-way thing so right now I'm gonna put some Mod Podge on this lay some grass down on it you guys already see me do that and then I'm gonna be gluing these different trees the tree branches that I got these are real trees uh, I'm gonna be gluing it to the back and putting the grass down back here so I'll get to you then and show you the process of that once it's done all it is is hot gluing it to the back of it and finding a spot to do it so I'm not gonna take the time to show you that so on to the next video all right so for the fence so far I took these pieces of wood that I have and it's actually this piece of wood and I cut off the tops and the bottoms to make them flat and this is how some of them turned out and I don't know if you can tell is it on this side or this side here this one you'll probably be able to tell better I don't know if you can see let me see There's lines, I, I carved, not carved, but scratched lines inside, like that one right there. So I'm hoping that after I paint it like that, that it will actually catch the grooves. Let me see if I can focus here. Catch the, there you go. So you see the inlay right there where you see those lines right there so that's what I'm going for I want it to get deep in the wood and then I'm gonna paint them over a uh, dark brown dirty brown dirtying them up a little bit and then this is the floor piece that it's gonna be sitting on and practically what I did is I took these to get the length I lined them up all the way across to make sure that it'll fit and there'll be gaps in between so I'll have a little bit more room so here these are gonna be the pieces for the uh, fence see in there so I got them black right now painted in black just a little see through a little bit on it sorry Still a little see-through on it a little bit, you know, not not a lot, just a couple of spots, but I'm taking a brush and just dry brushing. So I gotta pick the side that I cut the slits in. That's the side that I want to look the best, so that's what I'm going for right now. I don't know if I'm gonna paint the back. I might paint the back just to say screw it. simple I lined it all up to do do it on there so all right so here goes the final review this is the back piece that I did for it just did a little stencil of Jason there 
Friday the 13th TCD custom exclusive let's take a peek I changed up the background the background on how it was I wasn't happy with it so I made a background for it let me get the light right so I don't know if you can see let me show you a little bit so I got the grass before I painted the background so now I got a printout I just wanted to print it out to make it look like trees are in the back I used real trees then I did a little Photoshop magic let me get in there clear let's see I don't know if you notice it says mother let me get the lighting on a Okay, it's because the light didn't come from that way. There we go, just so you can see her a little darker. So I got her creeping in the background above the... And I like that background better, just for background for trees. The one I painted, it was alright, but I wanted this to look nice. So all I did is I went, printed out a... I used a whole sheet, so that was a 11 by 17 I took a picture of the woods and I just cropped her in the in the picture of the woods so I could put it back there then I used some tacky glue laid out the tacky glue flat then took the tree branches and laid out the tree branches with hot glue this time I put the hot glue on the back of the tree branch and laid it down I tried finding the flattest spot before I poured hot glue on the, the actual mat so that didn't turn out too well. I didn't like the, how that looked because there was globs that you could see. So now it's a little bit clearer, a little bit better. So that is, oh, then I'll real bit quick before you guys go, sorry, I made it double. So with Jason, when you take him out, there's actually the flat piece that fits in there so that make it so Jason can stand in the grass so I made it so that you can still see it a little bit but not too much a little square block just so you can stand make it a full piece instead of just having them sit there in the grass so like always like share and subscribe make sure you check out my Instagram we're gonna be hitting a lot of comic cons so make sure to keep up and I will be doing more dioramas soon so, this is Dio Spot out.